I first started making art, I was quite happy to just shove it into the cupboard. But last year I decided to buy some frames so that I could take out my favourite pieces and actually put them up on the wall. One of the things I bought was a frame that has 17 apertures and I thought this would be a great frame for putting in little pieces of art. Today I'm going to show you the process that I took to make this little card. I had some watercolour paper that I had already primed with paint, stenciling and collage that I cut down into postcard size. I never know what my finished piece is going to look like. More often than not though, I start with collage. I have a box which I keep images that I found in magazines and on the internet and I pick images that share a theme or colours. I use matte medium to stick them to the base as that creates the perfect surface ready for more paint. I recently treated myself to some new golden so flat paint and this was the perfect opportunity to try it out. I use an old plastic lid as a palette and mix the paint to match the colours in the images. I use the same colours to stencil and when it gets all too samey samey I reach for the white. And then it's time for more collage. I keep a basket filled with jelly prints, old paper, eco prints, painted tissue paper which is a never-ending supply of inspiration. Once everything's dry, I like to add watercolours to add a wash in the same colours. It just helps to break it up. Making sure that everything is really dry before I reach for my paint pens, I use them to make mark making, dots and squiggles, and this has got to be my favourite part.
Next, I have to choose a focal image. I find this to be the hardest part because I struggle to cover up the pretty background. But I know the eye needs somewhere to be drawn in, so I try a few different ideas before settling on my final components. glue stick, I glue them down and add a few more white pen marks and call it done. <laughs>